Hey everybody, it's Brett, and today I'm super excited to go over our very first 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 392. I know I did a short video on this one when it came off the truck, but we got it all road readied. The customer is actually on his way to come here and pick it up right now. I uh, thought I'd do a quick video. Um, he's a pretty nice guy, so uh, thank you to him for purchasing this, but I wanted to do a quick video just showing everything, especially under hood, and then we're gonna start it up, and I wanted to show you the interior too, because that looks really good. This is Firecracker Red. Of course, it has the 6.4 Hemi. It has the eight-speed automatic transmission, and it has the 456 gears. I'm gonna show you the original window sticker here and uh, show you the MSRP on this one. This one is basically a base 392. The only two additions that it has on it are the um, all-weather floor mats and then the Sky One Touch uh, power top. So it does have that option and I'll show you that. I'm not gonna open it up, but I'll just show you the options. Starting off here, you get the uh, steel bumpers, the seven slot grill, the upgraded seven slotted grill for 2024, LED headlamps, running lights, and fog lights as well. And uh, this one has the front trail camera. This is a true cowl induction hood. I'm gonna open this up in just a second and show you what it looks like in there because it is pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff on that hood. Uh, you get the 392 lettering on there with the gold outline as well as the Rubicon uh, decals on there. Color match fenders, color match hardtop, and you get the side extensions on the fenders there to accommodate for these wheels. These are BF Goodrich All-Terrain TA KO2s. These are LT31570 R17s, and it's got these 17-inch beadlock capable wheels. You can see the new logo on the center cap there is uh, the black Jeep with the gold background. And i uh, just show you the springs and everything. This one does have the 456 gears. Uh, you get the trail rated badge now on the side of the passenger side because that antenna is now in the windshield. You get the outline on the Jeep lettering there as well. Um, the gold outline, T50 on the door hinges. We got a video showing you how to take those door doors off if you want to check that out. You get the heavy duty rock rails on the bottom. Here's the original window sticker. Feel free to pause this. I'm not going to go through everything and uh, I don't have the best lighting in the drive up here. You can see base. This is a 87.595 base price. Everything on your left is your standard equipment. And uh, let's see if I can get that better there. Like I said, I'm not going to go through everything. Uh, the, the biggest thing is the um, full float, the Dana M220 wide full floating rear axle, uh, 456 gears. I found out that to get the max towing, uh, you have to get the normal Rubicon with the 410 gears uh, to get the max towing system. Found that I think on motortrend.com. Anyways, uh, interior features that's your standard equipment. So that is everything. And then the optional equipment starts with the Firecracker Red, which is 595 all weather floor match floor mats which are 170 and then the sky one touch power top is 37.95 total msrp on this one is 93.950 uh three year 36 bumper to bumper five year 60 and uh there's your mpgs 13 16 highway an average of 14 and not very efficient on the fuel economy and smog ratings uh which you wouldn't expect on a rubicon 392 anyways, but this one does have the power seat on the passenger side with the lumbar So that is new for 2024 as well Take a quick look at the back here You get the LED tail lamps I'm going to turn all these lights on too and then we're going to start it up and I'm going to show you this exhaust because this exhaust is pretty sweet quad tipped um, Dual rear exhaust here. Looks like it all comes out of the same muffler though, but uh pretty good looking Sounds really good though. This one does have the receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring, matching spare tire, enter and go system. There's your case for your side hard top pieces. So these pieces come off. I did a video showing you how to get those off. That's in the upper right hand part of the screen, linked in the description. This one has the Alpine premium sound. I think they all do. You get a little bit of storage. This is different. I don't know if this is because um, this normally is a big area back here, but I don't know if this is because of the exhaust, which could be. Um, 
not really sure. If you know, let it let me know in the comments below. You get the holders for your roof and windshield bolts, and uh, everything's color matched on the bars there. You get seven slots on the back door, and this is different for the 392, which is pretty cool. You get the wheelbase and overall length, obviously only for the four door because you can't get a 392 and a two door, and then where it's uh, developed and built in. So that's really neat. That's the first time I've seen that badge on a Wrangler. First time I've looked on a 392 right there, so that's pretty cool. Get the black fuel door. Firecracker red is a really bright red. It's almost orange. It's a very bright color. Blind spot monitoring, heated mirrors, enter and go system. And in the 392 here, you get the red leather bucket seats, the red stitching in the backrest there. Power seat, forward, back, backrest, lumbar, all weather floor mats. Marty's gonna have to grab his uh, pod here before this leaves. You get the new Jeep uh, badge there. There's a Wrangler and a Gladiator back to back. This one has the same dash as the uh, normal Rubicons that I was videoing before. I thought maybe it would have the red uh, dash on it to match the seats, but it doesn't. Um, just get in it real quick here. I'll show you the radio and everything. Leather wrap steering wheel, nothing special about the steering wheel. Uh, just the red stitching on there, adaptive cruise control, normal cruise controls, Bluetooth information center controls. You get the new uh, Uconnect, is it 12.3 inch radio? 12.3 um, inch radio, uh, Uconnect 5. There's factory navigation, has AM, FM, and Sirius. Uh, you get all your different apps on here. I'm curious to see if it has um, performance pages on it. I think that would be kind of neat. So you get off-road pages. No performance pages, but you do get the off-road pages, which are pretty cool. I'll just show you those real quick. It's uh, especially on a Rubicon, you get if the sway bar is connected, if the axles are locked or not, steering angle transfer case. As I turn that steering wheel, you can see that steering angle changes. You get your accessory gauges pitch and roll, and uh, latitude, longitude, and you can check out your front camera on here as well. There we go. There's your front camera, and those lines are dynamic, so as you're going down the trail, you can see where your wheels are going to be going, and then your backup camera is nice and crystal clear as well. Anyways, uh, really cool. They've changed the top here a little bit to accommodate for this radio. They also changed these vents to be right under the radio. The center stack is all, is, is all the same as the 2023. There's your different exhaust modes. So we're gonna try that out here in just a second. Um, but I wanted to look under the hood. There's your uh, front and rear axle lock, sway bar disconnect, off-road plus mode, um, your four auxiliary switches, eight speed automatic transmission, four wheel drive. And of course the power one touch sky top which is pretty cool. They changed these map lights a little bit. So now you can just press them. And they used to be in a center stack here. Now they got two there and then two on the back. Uh, let's go check out the back seats and then we'll take a look under the hood. And then I think we'll start it up, listen to that exhaust and the different modes that it has. Back seats, pretty standard for the Wrangler. It's a once again, if, if you watch my other videos, this, this leather is really a, it's a tough leather. It's, it's soft to the touch, but it's really firm. You can see it doesn't really even have fingerprint imprints on there. Latch child safety system. Uh, back here you get 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in, two USBs and two USB-Cs, and the all-weather floor mat, which is topographical design on there, which I really like. And these seats do fold down pretty flat. Headrest stay down. Let's take a quick look under the hood. Because this is pretty crazy underneath here. So give me one second while I rearrange everything. And it's heavy. The hood is heavy. It's because they've got all these different ducts on here, air intake, uh, hydro guide. So that's meant to keep the water away from the air intake 
and of course you get the 392 uh, covers on there and just a really good looking engine but uh, that is so cool there's so much stuff this hood is probably about three times heavier than a normal uh, Rubicon hood or Wrangler hood I should say there's the admission sticker so that's pretty cool and uh, let's start it up I'm gonna remote start it so that we can be back by the exhaust while it starts here and uh, really thank everybody for checking out the video today. And uh, thanks to the customer who bought this. Uh, really appreciate the business. Let me lock it here and then we'll start it up. So you could hear it was kind of loud right when it started. I'm going to go turn it to loud mode. That's performance exhaust on. Sounds really good. Give it just a little bit of gas. Really good. All right. Well, thanks everybody for checking out the video. I did want to turn on all the lights here so you can see it with the uh, lights on. We'll do one more final walk around, but really appreciate everybody checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to see more of, and uh, definitely incorporate that into my future videos. Uh, you can check out all my videos at youtube.com slash summit auto. Click the bell notifications. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Wrangler videos I've done in the upper right, a link to this our website in the lower left and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. And we're super excited uh, to be offering the 2024 Jeep Wrangler, hoping we get a bunch more orders for these 392s. They are pretty awesome. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. And thanks again.